Chris Lang is our first speaker today. Chris is a certified nationally recognized business coach and speaker. He's a native of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and brings over 20 years of experience and proven success in sales management, marketing, coaching, and business ownership. His company, The Growth Coach, is the nation's leader in business coaching. The Growth Coach helps business owners and professionals discover for themselves better ways to manage their business and personal lives. Who doesn't need that? Through an affordable, proven, and money-back guaranteed coaching process called the Strategic Mindset Process. And I'm going to cut some of our intros short this morning so we can get right to it. Uh, anything that I missed, Chris can tell you. I'm going to introduce right now Mr. Chris Lang. Please welcome him. morning. Before I get started, on the tables are some handouts right in the middle, and they, they state uh, managing daily priorities, the trivial, trivial many versus the vital few. So what you want to do is grab one of those handouts and make sure you have a pen or a pencil with you. Okay. You know, a child's father kept bringing home office work just about every single night, and finally a son who was in the first grade, asked him, why? Why, Daddy? His dad said, son, you simply don't understand. I have more work to do than I can finish during the day. And the board responded, well, in that case, Daddy, why don't they just put you in a slower group? <laughs> I have kids, anybody? <laughs> you know, is, is the father so, so sure that his... Uh, that his son didn't understand. Well, good morning. My name is Chris Lang. I'm the owner, like Mike said, of The Growth Coach. We're the nation's leader in business coaching. Like he said, we help business owners, self-employed professionals, salespeople discover better ways to operate their business and their personal life. I think that's an important combination. Um, and over the years that I've been coaching, I've seen a lot of challenges that people have. And typically those challenges are never intelligence challenges. We all know about our businesses. We're good at what we do. But typically those challenges are what they call behavioral. Things like, oh, their business isn't systematized, or um, they don't delegate properly, or maybe they work too much in the technical details of the business and they don't step back from it. But there's one challenge that I think I've worked on with every single person that I've coached over the years, bar none, and that is the behavioral challenge of time management. In other words, what you have on your sheet here, managing daily priorities. Does anybody have a challenge with this? Absolutely. And the challenge with it is time management is so insidious because it's, it's involved in the, oh, there's, I'm not here. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's in every single aspect of our life. It's in our daily routine. So we really got to get a handle on this. But here's the irony of the whole thing. And you may know this, we cannot manage our time. In fact, C.S. Lewis said this, he said, the future is something which everyone reaches at the rate of 60 minutes an hour, whatever they do, whoever they are. So if we can't manage time, what can we do? Well, the only thing we can do is manage ourselves in relation to that time. They call that being proactive, right? Or in other words, taking 100% responsibility for the good, the bad, and the ugly in our business. Unfortunately, most people that I end up coaching at the beginning aren't proactive at all. In fact, they're pretty reactive. Uh, Thoreau calls it a wandering generality. It's like being a boat on an ocean without a rudder. I mean, you know, you're getting beat back and forth. You have phone call here, meeting here, fire here, and that's our life. So today what I'd like to do is three things before we leave in the next 20 to 30 minutes. Number one, I'd like to use these worksh uh, worksheets here to help you, number one, assess what's going on in your life, to clarify or face your own reality, to ask yourself some, some tough questions. Secondly, we're going to write some plans on paper before we leave today. And then thirdly, I'm going to give you some tools that you can go and take action. Because one thing I figured out, I'm not a trainer. I don't just give people information. I'm a coach. So what I want people to do is actually have plans and implement something. So I pray that you take one thing away from this morning and you implement it. Because when you implement it, that's when change takes place. You know the old quote, when, if nothing changes, nothing changes. And that's the purpose of the day, that we change and we grow. So what I'd like you to do is turn to the first page, please, and have your pens ready, because we're going to have some fun, and we're going to do something called a gut check. And this is right underneath that quote there by B.C. Forbes. Now, 
I saw some people doing this before the talk, but I'd like you to take a pen or a pencil and I'd like you to run down this list. And I would like you to be honest with yourself and check the ones that apply to you right now in your situation. I mean, are you craving more personal time, more freedom? Maybe you feel out of control right now. Are you working too much, earning too little? Maybe you are one who's stuck doing everything yourself. These are tough questions. Now I'm going to go through these pretty quickly just because of time this morning. But you don't need to raise your hand, but I'm just going to rhetorically ask you, did you check at least three? Did you check five? How about seven? Nine. Did you double and triple check some of these? <laughs> when I did this, well, I, I checked a lot when I first did this, but typically I don't sit down with somebody who's truly honest with themselves that checks less than three. You know, these remind me of that, they had that commercial, I think it ran on the Super Bowl years ago, and they had uh, the kids on the TV screen, and they would say things like, when I grow up, I want to work too much and earn too little, you know. I want to feel out of control. I want to be stuck doing everything myself. Why do we get stuck in this? We have dreams and goals and visions for what we want to accomplish in our business and our personal life, yet why do we still get stuck in these types of issues? Well, I'm going to give you the answer this morning and then we're going to learn to fix it. If you turn to the next page, you'll see the reason why. Anybody hear this before? Human nature. Human nature. We simply, as humans, don't value our time. I'd like you to do a little exercise. On the t right above where it says human nature, I would like you to write the number 78. Now, minus from that number your age. So everybody minus 29 from 78 now. <laughs> Okay, so now you have a number. What I'd like you to do with that number, once you have it, is multiply it by 12. So you have to carry some ones here. I do have calculators. Okay, everybody have that number? I see some. Okay, now once you have that, I want you to multiply that times pi. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. You, you have the number. It should, be, it should be several hundred, right? Okay, my, mine, mine sits just about 400. Might be, yours might, I'm probably median. Yours might be more, might be less. Does anybody know what that number represents? Well, I'll tell you. 78 right now is the average lifespan. Now, I know we're all going to live longer than that, but that's just the average. What you've just determined for yourself is how many months, based on the average lifespan, is left for you to make your mark? <laughs> how does that strike you? How does that make you feel? You know, when I did that calculation, um, it basically told me that I didn't value my time enough. The founder of Pennsylvania, William Penn, said this, Time is what we want most, but what, alas, what we use worst, and for which God will certainly most strictly reckon with us when time shall be no more. So let's look at these challenges as we go through. I have them bullet pointed here. I won't spend too much time on them, but over time we tend to become consumed by the non-essential stuff and clutter. Who can relate to that? We get overwhelmed and distracted by details or low-value activities. Stephen Covey in his book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, calls this being addicted to the urgent, the fires, the pressing things. We're sitting at dinner and the phone rings and we get up from our kids to go answer the phone. That's being addicted to the urgent, and it causes stress. We have the greatest stress-related illness in this country out of any modernized country. The second one is we waste our time and talents on the wrong type of work. Let me just touch on this one for a second. I do a calculation with a lot of my coaching clients, and I have them determine what they're worth per hour. Let me give you an example.